I'm not sure what we were expecting to find out here. That's not the same rift the Codex used when it appeared. This thing could lead anywhere. It may not even be pointing at Earth. As with most things, we'll likely need to bring it back to the ship for further examination.
Covering now. Got it covered. Affirmative. Covering now. Step here. Status confirmed. All hostile contacts in the AO have been eliminated. The gateway is secure. Status confirmed. Commander, we've secured the psionic gateway, and recovery teams are en route to the site. Now it's up to Tygen and Shen to figure out what this thing does. efforts in the field have certainly encouraged the crew. The distinctive alien artifact we recovered from the field resembles a portal or a gateway of some kind. Although we believe it provides the aliens with a means of long-distance travel, potentially beyond the confines Gateway is primed. Is the subject prepared? Ready. I hardwired what was left of the Codex brain into Rover. It should be emitting the same signal the Codex used to pass through the gateway. Excellent. Let us begin. We've already seen the Codex opening a similar rift in the field. I am sure your device will be fine. set to record across all spectrums. Remember, go in, take some quick readings, then come right back through, okay? Whoa, are you seeing this? It appears our signal has been received. Increasing power. Doesn't look like any place we've been before. Or any place on Earth, for that matter. Perhaps this is the source. The aliens' seat of power, if you will. Secure beyond any physical limitations. Only one way to find out. Go on. We're counting on you. Doctor. The process did work. 
there was an instant where the device was in between locations. However, once that occurred, the gateway called for a second signature, an organic signature. When we could not provide one, it generated a sort of feedback pulse. Obviously. If the codex creates the door, this organic signature must surely be the key. Well, we better make sure we have the right key before we try again. I would hate for this to occur to something organic. Agreed. I'll report our findings to the commander immediately. We are now prepared to autopsy the body of the powerful being we recovered, Commander. I feel that we may be on the cusp of attaining a complete understanding of this avatar we have long sought. This creature represents a near-perfect fusion of human and elder DNA. Though remarkable, it appears as if the creature were unfinished, perhaps why we were able to ultimately defeat it. Still, this can lead me to only one logical conclusion. the only option we have at this point. Agreed. We must inform the commander immediately. Go right ahead. Commander? Central? The Shadow Chamber has completed its analysis of the Avatar's DNA. It has identified the genetic sequence necessary to travel through the psionic gate. Perfect. We can finally shut this Avatar project down for good. However, the gate requires more than a mere transmission of genetic data. The sequence has to be part of a live subject. The key only works in lockstep with the signal. We don't have time to find another one of those things, let alone capture it. No. That part we can handle. We make our own. You're serious? Quite. Though the specimen before us is damaged beyond repair, it has provided us with its complete genetic blueprint. We already possess an unaltered avatar template from the Forge facility. That combined with the genetic material we recovered at the Black Site should allow us to replicate the procedure here. So, what's the catch? Yes, that. Without an elder consciousness driving it, the new Avatar would remain as lifeless as the one before us. While I can develop its body, I cannot create the mind to drive it. But I can, in a way. By manipulating the new Avatar, via the psionic network. You want to operate one of these things by remote control? Not exactly. And definitely not me. Interfacing directly with their network would cause severe, if not fatal, trauma to an unprepared central nervous system. As it stands, we only know of one individual who has survived that kind of ordeal. That was different. The stasis suit created the perfect interface to the network, one tailored to your specific biology, Commander. Of any human candidate, you are the most likely to survive the connection. Most likely is not good enough, Doctor. It is the only answer I can give you, and our only option to traverse the alien portal. We need to come up with a game plan before we charge through the enemy's front door. Which will give you some time to think about this, Commander. This specimen, this being, is something else entirely. Something beyond anything we have ever seen. And yet somehow, our troops once again prevailed. A message for the Commander coming through on a secure channel, sir. On screen. Sir, it's coming from the Advent Network Tower. You heard me. He's taking a big risk contacting us like this. Hello, Commander. You and your crew are to be commended. Your efforts in rebuilding the Resistance Network and uncovering the truth about the Avatar Project have been admirable. 
I only wish I had better news to report. When does he ever? Advent is not taking the death of an elder lightly, and in turn have greatly accelerated the final stages of their Avatar project. A plan is now in place for the rapid processing of all non-essential human life to begin immediately. Very soon, Advent's speaker will announce a breakthrough in gene therapy. A final treatment for the human condition. Billions will flock to gene therapy clinics across the globe. They will never return. I have managed to secure tactical data and access codes to the Advent Network Tower. The speaker's address will be broadcast live to a global audience via this facility. The whole of Advent's network will be listening. It is this hubris that we must use against them. The information I am sending you should allow Dr. Tigan and Chief Engineer Shen to take control of the transmission and disrupt their entire network from within. Though my hope is that this disruption will confuse the enemy's forces long enough to allow your final assault a chance of success, I ask one more thing of you. Take what you have learned. Let the world know what is happening here. Wake them up. Broadcast the truth. Before there is no one left to listen. It seems we are both out of time. Farewell, Commander. New objective added.